Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today I want to talk to you about a new cooking system. It's great for camping, survival, bushcraft, bug out bags. Um, it's a combination of two different companies. We have coming from bare minimum, it's the bear bowl. We'll talk about this in a little bit. And then coming from Grim Workshop, we actually have the bare bones stove. So what you have is in the bear bowl, a foldable cooking pot. Um, this was, it's been out for a while. These guys were on Shark Tank. Um, just a really unique system in that you can basically take your cooking pot and fold it flat. You can see the button on one side, there's the button on the other, and obviously I'll show you how it actually folds. But the idea is that it's just going to be more compact and easier to pack or pack into, you know, whatever backpack you have or system you have. And then we have the bare bone stove from Grim Workshop. Now, if you're not familiar with Grim Workshop, uh, they make a ton of survival tools that are basically wallet sized, EDC sized. I'm sure you've seen those survival cards that you can put in your wallet. They're about as big as a credit card, or they've got fishing hooks and you know uh, arrowheads and things like that. Well, these guys make, in my opinion, some of the best on the market when it comes to those type of tools. So we have a combination of this and this. I mean, just look. Once we flatten out the bear bowl, you can see that this is going to be a very, very compact system. Cooking while you're out camping, um, it could be in a survival bag, bug out bag, whatever it is. So let me show you these products and how they all come together. Um, the bear bowl has been out for a bit. The, um, the stove has a bunch of tools. And right now at the time of this video, which is the end of August 2019, uh, this is on Kickstarter. They were looking to raise around $4,500. They're up closer to like $26,000 at the time of this video. So it's been very successful already. Um, as is true with all Kickstarter campaigns, you can get in at different levels and you're going to get more products, you know, the, the more money that you're backing the uh, Kickstarter campaign. So let's start off and talk about the bear bowl quickly and then we'll talk about the, uh, the stove and then we'll show you what they look like in use. So first thing I want to show you is this is just the box that the, uh, the bear bowl comes in. And then on the side, they have some notes about the different sizes. So you can get the papa bear, the mama bear, and the baby bear, and then the bear bones. So the papa bear is 128 ounces. That's what it'll fit. Um, and it weighs nine ounces. The capacity of the mama bear is 64 ounces, and that weighs eight ounces. And then the baby bear fits 32 ounces, and that weighs seven ounces. And then the bear bones is gonna be 32 ounces. It's gonna hold 32 ounces, and it's going to, um, to weigh six ounces. What you're looking at here is the baby bear. You can see we do have this handle. It's got paracord on it. You could always take the paracord off and use it for something else, else if you wanted to, um, but the idea is that it's just a little bit more solid. So um, what they've basically built is a heat resistant pot that can fold flat. So you unsnap a couple things and then you can see that's how flat it is. Now you can actually fold it up to make it, you know, compact and square but just to show you that's what it looks like when it's fully flattened out and opened up and then here it is totally flattened out so basically I took the whole the, it opened up folded it all in on itself swung the handle around and snapped it shut so I mean very small as you can see now take this and add it to the stove and obviously I mean that's your system right there very very compact all right quickly here to put the bolt together so I'm gonna unsnap it and unfold it and the main thing I'll tell you is that when you're putting it together, you've got these four kind of black stripes. You want those all on the inside of the bowl as you put it together. So let me get the handle out of the way here, fold one side in, and you can basically see there's the snap. It's gonna to come together here. So that's snapped. Now to the other side, same thing like this. Fold the handle over or swing the handle over, snap. That's it. Now it's all put together. The bottom of it is metal so that you can put it, um, you can put it on top of the uh, stove. It's also flat. You don't want flame. You don't want to stick this right into a fire. It's not the same thing as a stainless steel container, uh, container, but you know, if you have heat that's coming up from the fire that's here and the heat's coming around the side, that's okay. But you don't want to put this directly into the flames because the material, while it is heat resistant, if you, resistant, if you stick it right into the flames, eventually it's going to melt. So we'll start with the bare bone stove and then show you some of the accessories as well. One of the first questions people often ask about these systems is um, when you take it apart and use it and then you want to put it back together, does it all just kind of like, you know, you throw it into a bag? Um, or does it, does it actually fit back into the original setup? It does. 
You can see the black background there. It's basically a, a sticky surface. It doesn't leave all kinds of residue. I don't know exactly what it's made of, but basically you can use the, uh, use the stove or any of their tools that have this black background and then just reattach it to there and now it's nice and organized. So that's a, definitely a win. Uh, some of those survival cards, once you use the, the pieces, like what do you do with them? You gotta throw them into like a little stuff sack and hope you don't lose them. But you can basically put the system back in uh, to, on this card so it's easy to transport. I do wanna to mention to you real quick, the initial time you use it, you're gonna to have to break the little tabs off here just to separate all the pieces. And then again, when you put it back together, um, on the black background at the end you just line the pieces up and they will stick in place But you do have to break those tabs in the initial building of the stove. Here's the stove right here We have the main section right here, and then these are basically the uh, the crossbars So let me move these guys out of the way for a second. You're just gonna line up the A's and the B's in the different uh, on the different pieces of metal so I'll take this line this up with B here and then there's an A on this side, so line it up like this. And then the same thing here. A lines up with A. And B lines up with B. Now you could just use it just straight like that. You could just put the bearable right on top of it and make your fire underneath and you're good to go. Now you do have these additional supports, which are gonna go across like this. One, two, and then three here. All right, so obviously that's gonna give it more strength and stability right there. And then you have these two additional pieces which you can run off the edge like this. And you could, I've seen people like skewer hot dogs on these or you know, basically warm something up off the edge right here while your fire is burning underneath. You could have a small fire out here however you wanna set it up, but that's how simple it is to put it together. Real quick here, just a note, uh, in my enthusiasm to put this together, I missed out on the fact that there were two extra skewers. So you have the three cross beams on the stove and then two skewers at one side, two skewers at the other side. So more ways to cook stuff, warm stuff up over the stove. All right, let's say you have your stove all set up, you get the fire going, and there's the bear bowl just sitting on top of it. Again, flames under here, heating the underside. A um, Couple other additional things I want to show you, take the bowl off, and then we have this, we'll get the, uh, here we go, there we go. You can see the uh, logo for Bare Minimum and also the Grim Workshop. You've got this, and then you've got this little kind of handle thing, slide it in like this, and now you've got basically a, uh, a uh, griddle, and also serves as a cover to the stove so that you're gonna keep more to the, um, bare bolts, you're gonna keep more heat in as you're actually cooking. Now, if you wanna put this out here, you could do that. If you wanna cook something out here, it's easier to take off, put back on. Again, you can use it in a variety of different ways. I feel like one of those commercials on TV when they're like, but wait, there's more, cause there is more. Uh, one more little section here, again, from grimworkshop.com. They've got a bunch of tools for you here. So you can see we've, there's got a, it says peeler, spatula sets times two, eating utensil and bottle and can opener all in one. Again, they do have that. You can see the black background behind it. So when you're done with it, you can put it back on the black background. That does have an adhesive there. It doesn't put a sticky residue all over everything, but allows you to organize your gear and the tools when you're done with them. And obviously, as you can see, that is extremely thin. So easy to store in a backpack, a bag, whatever it might be. So here's the first tool you can see, there's your peeler right there. It's obviously like a very, very small spatula you could use to flip something over. You got a scraper there with that rough edge and you can see there's a little cutout right there and I'll show you how that works in just a minute. There's your second tool, it's a tiny little spatula. So if you wanna you know, stir something or flip something over, that's what that looks like. And this one has the cutout as well. And so what you do is you link these two, basically the two C's together and when you do that now it becomes a very small pair of uh, tongs for you to pick stuff up flip it over and you could do the same thing with the other tools I'll show you that in a second but kind of cool individual tools and now they can function together as well right, your next tool obviously is just a little fork here also has that little C cut out down on the end and then your last one has a can opener on this side and then a bottle opener on this side over here and again, with those two little cutouts at the end, you could put these things together. I'll just show you real quick. Basically line the two C's up, 
slide them together. Now we have another set of tongs as well. There's your two sets of the tongs with the four individual tools. Um, you've seen what it looks like to set it up. You've seen all the tools. Um, I mean, it's super compact, obviously, lightweight, easy to assemble. I'm actually headed to New York State uh, today to visit some family there, so we're gonna bring this whole system down there and uh, put it through the paces as far as using it and making a little fire and heating some stuff up. Let's do it. All right, we got our fire starting to warm up here. Can I get a little bit more wood on the fire to uh, help that thing to grow a little bit? Wish you guys could uh, smell the tea here. I think it's peach and cinnamon. It smells so good. Um, like any pot that you would put over a, uh, a stove, you know, or on a, on a like a kettle on a stove, you gotta be careful because the whole thing can be hot. The handle's fine. The sides are a little bit warm, but but pretty cool now. And then obviously the bottom, that's metal, is gonna be um, gonna be hot. But as you can see, the the system works. And uh, yeah, now I got my morning tea. It's kind of funny even if you're in the woods like I am you can still still hear like the rumble in the distance of uh, cars headed off to work this morning trucks and stuff so anyhow I mean obviously as you can see the system works super lightweight compact um, I just use the the bear bowl to um, to heat up some water to make tea this morning but you can you can cook on the griddle you can cook on the little side skewers um, I will tell you that once it's set, you want to have it set up and cooking and not be moving it around a ton just because there's multiple parts coming together so you don't want to have to try, try to pick it up and move it while it's all assembled. It just, it's not made to you know pick up and carry around camp 20 different times. Like set it up, set your fire, start cooking when you're done, break it down. I think that's the best way to operate with it. Now this whole system with the stove, the bear bowl, different levels, different amounts of tools and stuff, it's all available over on Kickstarter right now. So use the link below down in the description section and I mentioned this earlier in the, the beginning part of the video but they're way over their uh, their goal already so obviously a lot of people have liked this Grim makes good stuff the bearable or bare minimum makes good stuff so um, yeah I mean this is gonna I'm trying to figure out what kit this is gonna go into but as far as sleek compact slick lightweight this is a good a good a, uh, a good bushcraft cooking system to uh, to have out there in the woods and obviously camping day hiking emergency bags It'll work in all those different levels. All right, let's hear from you guys. The bear bowl system, uh, the cook system, the skewers, the tools, all that. Let's get your thoughts in the comment section. All right, guys, wrapping up here. Thanks, as always, for checking out the videos. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.